a very key quote here from Act 1, Scene 4. This is after Duncan makes Malcolm um, is next in line to the throne, names him heir, Prince of Cumberland. And we've got Macbeth asking fate to look away in this quote, as he knows his feelings upon seeing Malcolm as next in line to the throne are going against fate and God's wishes. It's going against the divine right of kings. So Shakespeare presents Macbeth in this way to show how the corruption from the witch's prophecies are influencing Macbeth and emphasizing also the power of his homage, how uh, deeply embedded this sense of ambition is. It shows that Macbeth knows that he will have to break the great chain of being as he's hiding from God. So stars, hide your fires, let not light see my black and deep desires. So stars, we can make a connection there to God, to heaven. In religion, we've got uh, similar quotes you know, throughout, um, you know, the sealing, uh, come sealing night, um, and uh, calling upon darkness and you know, the murkiness of hell. So, yeah, the stars symbolize heaven and um, the fact that he's asking heaven to uh, hide. Is, again, another quote we can link this to is the eye wink at the hand. This is a sense of avoidance. He doesn't want God to know what he's thinking because so great is uh, his and contemplated crime. Stars obviously also represent light and hope, and he's turning away from this. Um, and it represents destiny. He knows it's not, it, sh it shouldn't be his destiny to be king, because Duncan, you know, is God's representative on earth, we take the great chain of beings, being, and he, uh, he names Malcolm. And so fate has not decreed that Macbeth should be king. He's going to have to take things into his own hands and um, to change this. And again, this is something that frightens him. Uh, hiding again this idea of deeds being done in secrecy. So whereas before he's this brave, strong warrior, you know, for all to see, now he's lurking in the shadows with these dark and evil thoughts. Um, Let not light see my black and deep desire. So black acknowledges that his thoughts are very dark, that they are evil. Deep, um, you could say deep desires, it's uh, kind of an alternative interpretation. So one interpretation is that it shows how deeply embedded and innate his amasha is. And it's always been his flaw, the fact that he's overly ambitious. Also deep suggests maybe that he's pushing it down. So it's, it's not rising to the surface yet. He's trying to persuade himself that it's still not a good idea to murder Duncan. And um, he manages to do this, but then Lady Macbeth obviously plays upon him and attacks his masculinity and has a plan and shows him how, how great they both could be. And again, that's when his Hamasha you know, bubbles to the surface and he can no longer wrestle against it. But that's a key and important quote.